As a general rule, I don't like to do any sweeps on an opponent that is in a good, stable position. Uh, what I like to do is set them up, move them, what I call tweaking, to tweak my opponent. And all, most of the time I like to do my sweeps while in motion, whether that would be um, putting pressure on him or whether he's attacking me. So let me give you a couple of tips on, on the setups. So if I'm to, to sweep my opponent standing still, chances are I'll get hit because it's so obvious. I mean, even if I do stuff before, you know, before it's too, too close of a distance and the timing to execute a sweep. So what I like to do is set up my opponent for a sweep. And the way I like to do a setup is normally crossing my opponent and tweaking him. One of the ways to tweak him is I make a move, make him adjust. If you notice, I step, he adjusts. He's one step behind at all times. As I move, he's adjusting. I'm already ready while he's adjusting. So one, two, three, four. You can practice this. That would probably be the easiest way to practice. You shift in, she shifts back. You shift this way, she comes in. But again, if you notice that he is always one beat behind me because he's trying to recover his position. So what I like to do is usually go to the side a little bit, either with the front foot or with the back foot. During the adjusting stage is when I'll execute my technique. And I'll never do a sweep right off the bat. I'll always do something else to get his attention on. For example, if the hand is out here, what I'll do is, one, take his mind off and cover his sight. So now that he cannot see where that foot is, the other hand is here, down below, so you're blocking even more of your foot. So going from the start, if I go one, okay, now I'll apply a little more pressure to him, either with a Kizami or with a reverse punch. So in this case, I just do a reverse punch because I want him to start backing up. And this is what I want, I want him one inch off of his center. That one inch will give me enough room for the sweep to be executed properly. When you're fighting an inexperienced fighter, it's easy to do the sweep. When you're fighting an experienced fighter, it comes down to fine, fine detail of the setups and preparation. And who makes the mistake first? So what I'm going to show you today is the little fine things that's going to help you achieve your foot sweep. When somebody's punching, I like to tweak them as the punch comes towards me. So for example, if he's punching straight, I could do the regular block, but I like to take his elbow and rotate him same time. So the back leg comes up a little bit and he goes on the toe. Once I get this tweak, then any sweep is going to work at this point because it's off balance. So you can practice tweaking by readjusting, readjusting many punches. If I tweak them this way, it's a little bit dangerous. I always want to tweak them across. Why? Because then this hand can't punch me. So he's got to, in order for, that, for him to punch from that side, he's got to go over his own, his own body there. So right in back. So let's start with a backwards motion. Going back, put the pressure on, put it in. Putting pressure on, coming in, now we'll go one, two, and three. Okay, get them easy up on top. If the hand is here, sometimes I would just use this hand as a cover. One, one, two, and sweep. Always want to keep them busy, always want to keep them occupied on top, no matter what it is. Now, if you're doing the same thing all the time, you're always going like this, but it soon catches on to your timing. So I don't like to do anything twice. Okay, because the match is only two minutes long. <clears throat> so there's no reason for me to just keep doing the same old thing, right? I'm gonna throw him off beat. First part, right? Uh, switch feet, please. Bye if you're fighting an opposite opponent. When you do your tweaking, try to tweak him again so you can punch with the other hand. You can do it with the front hand or you can do it with the back hand. Sometimes even open. A lot of times I like to keep my hand open to get my speed so I can do my score. 
having a closed hand a lot of times I'll tighten up and then it doesn't give me that speed with a tight hand. Right. I like to keep it open until I get to my target. Right when I get to my target is when I close my hand, focus, and score. Okay, so going back to the setups, for example, if I'm attacking, before I execute that sweep, I want to make sure that the position is right on my opponent. That doesn't mean that um, I have to sweep here or there or whatever. It's when the right time comes, you'll actually know it. You'll feel that you can execute that sweep. So to keep him busy, I'll cross him, I'll punch, he'll punch back, I'll switch and get in and then do my, my sweep, execute the sweep. So for example, I want to tweak him as we're traveling. So I want to keep my distance, but I want to establish a timeline between him and me so we are traveling at the same time as one person. Right. That's my objective and that's my goal. In any sweep that I do, I like to establish a timeline where we're traveling together at the same time with my distance, keeping my distance proper. So one more time. One, two, three. Okay? So that's one. The same thing you can do when you are attacking your opponent, move over this way, is use the front foot. So if I'm going one, keep his upper body busy, blocking two, Sweeping three and then punching four. Right. Okay, using the back foot, you can go one, two, use the back right. foot, sweep them out of this way. I like to use the step because it's totally unexpected. They're, your opponent is usually too busy thinking about the top. Right. But a back foot comes straight up and all you're doing is lifting. Lifting and then use your hands to assist and push. So going back to the traveling theory, uh, this time Dimitrio is going to attack and basically I'm going to flow with him, I'm going to use my front foot and shift the back foot out as it comes in, I'm going to take this foot and outside sweep this way. The trick is I need to hit his foot before he actually steps. So all I'm going to do is displace his foot. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. A lot of times you end up in close fighting with your opponent and your hands are busy and you're up here and you're grabbing and you're struggling to take them down. What I want to show you is the lifting sweeps. Now, on a lifting sweep, the foot comes in close to the floor and all you do is you follow the leg all the way up to the knee until it catches. You just a hook, okay? As you're lifting straight up, you want to do a little hip rotation out. So basically you come in, follow the leg all the way up, okay? When you come to here, you want to lift and push your foot out this way. Okay, switch your foot so we can see it on the other side. So you're coming in deep, you cup it, you're lifting straight up, and in this case, naturally, you're going to push that way. So you push your hip as you lift. Okay? Anytime your foot is close to your opponent, follow your foot down to the floor. When you touch the floor, most of the time, all you have to do is straighten the leg out, and your opponent is going to go down. So even if you're inside, if your foot touches the opponent here, just come straight down, touch the floor, and from this point on, either use the knee to tweak them, okay, you push them down inside of the thigh, this way, because that's all you want, you just want a little buckle. You want a little buckle, so you can sweep over the other foot. The little buckle will give you enough time to rotate and use the other foot for a sweep. Yes, thank you. Yes.